Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I'm Randy with Beyond Limits of Palm Beach Mobile Detailing and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how we go about cleaning a vehicle's carpet floor mat. So without further ado, let's jump into it. If you are looking to clean the carpet floor mats in a car, SUV, or truck, there is two ways you can go about doing this. Now, neither of these methods is better than the other, right or wrong. It really comes down to personal preference and not to to mention sometimes it can actually depend on the actual condition of the carpet mats and figure out which method will most likely give you the better results So with method number one, you go ahead and tackle these floor mats just how you would with fabric seats. You'd use your cleaner, a hand brush, or even a drill brush, and you would bring out a machine such as a steamer or even an extractor. So let me go ahead and give you guys a quick demo, of course, working on a floor mat that has already been vacuumed. All right, guys, so step number one here, I'm using PNS carpet bomber diluted four to one. I will just spray a good amount onto the entire area here. Let it sort of dwell for a couple seconds, maybe 10 to 15 seconds, and then we'll move on to step number two. Then step number two, my next step will be I'll bring out my drill along with the drill brush attachment and start scrubbing, brushing, or agitating however you guys want to put it. Once I am done with the agitation, I will now use my extractor to pick up all of the grime and dirt from inside of the mat and remove any stains or spills that may be on here. Alrighty guys, so my camera actually stopped recording. It didn't catch when we did a second pass, guys, but you definitely want to do a second pass if you need to on your carpets, if they're really bad, the condition, guys. So you, you either want to do one pass, two passes. That is completely up to you guys, depending on the condition of the carpet format again. And the last and fourth step of this process, guys, would be to just quickly go over it with a microfiber towel to sort of mop up as much of that water left on the surface. And finally, at the end, we want to let it air dry. And just like that, guys, you are completely finished with shampooing these carpet floor mats. Now, you just want to let it air dry again, like I mentioned earlier. Let it air dry for a couple of minutes, whether it's 30 minutes, up to an hour. Now, if you happen to be dealing with, say, heavily soiled floor mats or mats that seem they're going to take extra effort to get cleaned up or essentially require a great amount of attention, it is no doubt sometimes that can be the actual real world case. You have to remember, floor mats are or at least should be the dirtiest parts of an interior as you step on them when you get into a vehicle after always walking outside and all of the outdoor elements. Not to mention, it is most noticeable on tan or brown colored mats such as this one right here as opposed to black floor mats. Method number two guys, we will actually be using our pressure washer. So the very first step will be to sort of do a pre-rinse on the mat. So we'll go ahead and lightly soak the floor mat with water. Our second step would be to take your desired chemical solution, whether it's again carpet bomber or even something such as super clean diluted for the one. And you want to make sure you spray a good amount of cleaner on here. The third and next step would be to use a brush and start agitating. Once again, I'll be using my drill brush, but you can definitely just use a stiff handheld brush. Just of course will require more elbow grease from you. Now for step number four, you wanna bring back your pressure washer again and rinse out this mat and pretty much force all the cleaning solution out of here. Thank you. 
Now the next step and the fifth step in this process will help speed up the drying process since we soak this entire carpet with water, it will take a much longer time to dry. But to help you just a little bit for that, you wanna take a hand brush and sort of wring out all of that water out. Or you can even shake out the carpet if you choose to. Now step number six guys, we're just gonna let it air dry. Now you could come back around with your extractor. You absolutely can, depending on what kind of floor mat you're dealing with and how thick they are. You can make that choice yourself. In this case, I will. In another case, I would probably just let it air dry out in the sun if the carpet was a little bit thinner. Again, totally up to you, your business, your choice, guys. There's no right or wrong way. Now, I'm just going to mop up again this floor mat, guys. Pick up any of that last water up here on the surface, and we are done. Now, you just want to let it air dry, again, for 30 minutes up to an hour. Maybe just a little bit more since we did soak it with the pressure washer, but you should be good to go. And you want to leave it out in the sun so it could properly dry, guys. And I actually wanted to talk about this, guys. There's a couple of people out there who say when doing this method, the second method, that you don't actually have to use a drill brush or any brush for the scrubbing or the agitation that the APC or your solution paired with the pressure washer alone will do the job alone. And you know, that could be true, but honestly, it doesn't take too much effort really to simply just take a minute or two to agitate some of that cleaner onto the actual mat. So why not do it? Just my two cents. Now, you see with floor mats, we have the ability to use the second method because they are easily removable from the vehicle. You can take them out really quick and put them back in really quick as well. So it is ideal when you are dealing with, you know, just trash carpet mats. It could be considered as the more aggressive method, but it'll get the job done so what do you guys think which method do you use in your business or overall prefer let me know down in the comments below That's gonna be a wrap for this video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did make sure you smash the like button leave a comment down below and press the subscribe button as well as hit the notification bell button to join my notification squad don't forget to watch another video down here as always have the girls see you on the next one